So I wanted to talk briefly about the mode and display. So mode is fairly straightforward. You have degrees, radians, gradients, and then you have algebraic mode and RPN. Now if you bought this calculator, you're probably familiar with RPN, but I'm going to go ahead and do a video on that just to explain what it is. Algebraic mode is what most people are used to on calculators where you are able to do 4 times 5 plus 6, etc. Hit enter and you get your answer. Anyways, I'm going to go back to RPN. The display menu is just a little less intuitive. So fixed, you're going to have a fixed number of decimal points. So if I enter fixed, it asks me how many decimal places do I want to display. I'm going to pick two, and that's common if I'm doing um, monetary calculations where I only want two decimal places out to the pennies, for example. So I do 12.056, hit enter, and it just shows 12.06 and then 13.025 and add those two together and it just shows me out to the hundredths decimal place. If I wanted to see the entire number it has been calculated because the the full precision is stored in the calculator it just shows out to the number of decimal places that I've fixed I can go to the gold shift key and then show hold it down and it'll show me the full precision of that number Go back to display mode. Scientific. Scientific does the exponent, but it only does one digit before the uh, the 10 to the whatever number you pick. So scientific, let's say I want to display two decimal places there, it goes 2.51 times 10 to the 1 power. Engineering mode is the mode that I commonly use. Again, I'll do two decimal places there. 25.1 times 10 to the 0. Now, the thing about engineering mode is it does multiples of 3. So if I go 1 kilometer, 1E3, it'll show 1E3. If I do 1E5, then it'll do 100 times 10 to the 3rd. So it'll always show multiples of, of 3. If I do 1e7, it'll go 10 times 10 to the 6th. Oh, one other thing. this These engineering switches here, if you wanted to see what it looks like with another multiple. So say, for example, I have a capacitor that is... 1 nanofarad, so 1 e to the negative 9. And I want to see how many microfarads that is. Well, I can do a shift here, and that's 0 0.001 times 10 to the negative 6, or 0 0.001 microfarads. So just a quick way of being able to, to switch the, the power time, the, the tens, time 10 to the exponent place. All right, back to the display menu. 4 displays all the digits, so 1.254 e to the third, it shows all of the digits that I'd enter. As minute, much precision as, it, as the calculator is capable of. Display mode, and you can scroll down through the menu. The period, that is your decimal place. So if you prefer decimal places to be a period, then choose that. If you like them to be a comma, then you can choose that. Um, 1.25, and it puts a comma in that place. Here, you choose if you want to see a comma for the uh, thousand separator, so for a million, a thousand, etc., or if you just want it to be straight numbers. Here's your rectangular notation and your polar notation for complex numbers. 
So that's it for the, the mode and display menus.